Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly, and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs that sell. And be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video because I have another five bonus niches for you. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this listing right here. This is just a mug, pretty simple. I'm going to show you how I did this, but I'm also going to talk a little bit about products made in the United States. So this is made in the U.S. So very convenient, right? Um, I have had people who were concerned about tariffs, customers specifically. I have not noticed any changes whatsoever in terms of shipping individual like small items to people from other countries. I sell a lot of things from China and I haven't had any impact whatsoever so far due to tariffs, but I have had customers who were concerned, customers who wanted to cancel their orders if they realized it was coming from China. Um, and so with that in mind, there are some benefits to finding products that are made in the United States. Obviously, you don't have the tariff issues or even the concern of tariff issues. It's also usually a lot faster in terms of shipping and fulfillment because it doesn't have to go as far. The trick is just that sometimes it's more expensive. And so it's a little bit of a trade off there. Um, but anyways, I want to show you uh, talk about this mug here. So mugs can be very popular. Patterned mugs, of course, can be very popular as well. Um, so this one just has sort of that Italian lemon pattern. Uh, I did make the main mock-up image myself, but the other mock-ups came straight from the print company. So it gives you the product size. It'll show you the full wrap of the mug. Uh, there's somebody holding the mug. There's the lifestyle view of the mug. And then just some other ones. As you can see, I'm offering it in different colors. So like the handle colors. Um, and so color options, I have white, yellow, um, the medium blue, and this would be the dark blue. And so some of the colored ones are pretty cool. Um, again, this one is made in the United States, ships only to regions within the United States. I do offer free shipping on this. Um, and so what we can see here, right, is $14.99 with free shipping. You know, that's a pretty good price. So I've seen mugs for sale on lots of different print platforms, and a lot of them are pretty similar. The trick is a lot of them have pretty expensive shipping. Um, and so to be able to sell it uh, for $14.99 with free shipping and still have profit left over is pretty good. So I haven't done a lot with mugs until recently because of the issue with the shipping cost. But now that I have discovered the mugs on Print KK, I'm a lot more likely to start putting a lot more mugs up on my shop. So let me go ahead and show you. So this is from Print KK. And I do use Print KK a lot. It's one of five different print platforms that I have integrated with my Etsy shop. Um, and this one has a section that's made in the United States. And so as you know, made in the United States can be very convenient. And the cool thing about some of these is it automatically offers free shipping. So these are good prices and they're made in the United States and they have free shipping for a lot of them. So some of these are the best prices I've had. So for example, for the Tumblr, 1381 with free shipping. That is about as cheap as you're gonna find anywhere um, for the Tumblr. They've got like the regular t-shirts. Um, again, 890 is a pretty typical price I might see for a t-shirt but usually I would have to pay shipping too. So again, that's a lot cheaper there. They do have some of the bigger products like the, the, the like furniture type stuff. They've got some tapestries. They got some pajama bottoms, some, you know, wrapping paper, lamps, flags. So there's actually a pretty good amount of things that they have in their made in the United States section lamps. I've done videos on a lot of these before. I've done videos on the lamps. I've done videos on the wagon there. Um, as you can see, I've done videos on the, the sign that they have here, um, more shoe cabinets. Here's up here where I have our, um, our mugs. Um, this is the one that I picked here. It is the colorful mug because it has a lot of different colors that you can choose from. It's relatively cheap and again, free shipping. There's also the color changing one here. That one's even cheaper. And again, free shipping in the United States. It only ships to the United States. Um, here is another one that's got the colorful stuff to it, um, and it also has 
a bunch of different colors, so I'm not entirely sure. Oh, this is the 15 ounce. This is the 11 ounce. So this might have been the one I did because I did an 11 ounce. So I'm guessing I did this one here. Yeah, so I mean, here it is. Here's the mug, lots of different mugs, lots of different colors. Um, and again, I mean, you can pick any of the colors you want. You do that when you go ahead and publish the design, you can pick the colors that you want. So for right now, you can just go ahead and hit start designing. Here it is. So I've done videos on mugs before, lots of different ways that you can do them. You can put uh, like just one design on the front and one design on the back. And that's pretty, you know, um, typical to see too, you know, so you just have the white mug with a design on the front and the back. You can do the full wrap, but when you do the wrap, you will get that little gap where the handle is. I mean, that's pretty typical. So if you do the wrap and the wrap is a dark color, you're still gonna get that white gap around the handle. Um, and so just be forewarned, if you do a wrap on a white background, then it's a lot less obvious that there's a gap where the handle is. And so that's what I like um, that worked really well with the lemon pattern that I showed you is it was a full patterned wrap, but it was on a white background. So it actually worked pretty good. And then I could match the color of the mug with the color of the pattern. So you can do anything you like with mugs. Um, I'm going to show you how I did that lemon one, which again, super easy to do. I can go over to Canva. Um, I can do what 54 by 4,500, something like that. Again, doesn't particularly matter. I just have to blow it up. Um, and then what I can do is I can use AI to create a pattern and that's easy enough. So if I wanted to go to elements, and I want to say generate my own pattern and maybe I want it to be more of a landscape size because it's going to wrap around the mug. And then maybe I want, let's say Italian style lemon pat pattern with blue, oops, blue, I can't spell blue leaves on white background. And again, uh, sometimes this works great on the first try. Sometimes I have to try several times before I find exactly what I like. But usually after a little bit of time, I can get some really cool patterns. And so right now this one's popping out as something I like already. And this might be a good one right here as a wraparound, right? So I've got the lemons, I've got the blue leaves, and I've got most importantly is that white background. So it's gonna work really well with the mug. Um, there are some other ones. So like, here's another one here. This one is a little bit tighter patterned. I don't necessarily like how evenly distributed this is. I like this one because it looks a little bit more random and I can always generate again. I can do this many times and you know try to find whichever one I feel like is gonna be the best. Um, but it's so easy now, like more than ever, to find really cool patterns that you can use and know that nobody else is gonna have the same pattern with you as you because obviously with AI, all the patterns are going to be original and unique because it'll never create the same thing twice. And so that's one thing that I really do like AI for is some of the cool patterns. Um, when it comes to individual t-shirt designs, I still prefer to create my own designs, um, but for patterns, I've, really taken to using AI a lot. Um, I like the first one. Let's just go with the first one. So I'm going to take this. And um, by the way, if you're concerned about the quality, I'm going to show you something real quick. So if I click on this and I go to edits, there is something down here where you can use a vectorize or upscale image. This is upscale in the app section. Yeah, image upscaler. And it's going to usually tell me that it's already pretty upscaled. Um, your image is already high quality resolution. Um, and so if it wasn't high quality, this is really helpful sometimes to upscale, but it actually does come out pretty good quality and I'm saving it at a really high pixel rate. So it actually does look really good on the mugs here. So I'm not concerned, but just so you know, there's those options there. Um, Vectorize really doesn't work well with like gradient type things like this. It works good with like solid colors, but this one you're still going to probably use pixels. So I am going to download this. It's a PNG. Um, 
I don't need a transparent background, but I could do a transparent background and go ahead and hit download. It's just going to get rid of that. So I just have the shape here. Perfect. And then I'm going to jump right back over to PrintKK. Let's go ahead and let's upload. So let's go ahead. I can do library. I can go to uploads. Oops. I can go ahead, upload my lemon pattern here. And here we go. I can put my lemon pattern right on there. And so you can see exactly how that looks. And that is pretty darn cool. It's giving me good print um, quality. And so we can kind of go through and see how those look. And actually looks real nice. Now, right now it's showing it all with the black handle. But again, when you go to publish this, you can pick the colors that you want. So for example, if I went ahead and said, okay, let's go ahead and save this. And I'll run through this really quickly for you guys. Perfect. So once I've saved it, I can just go ahead and go to my designs and it'll be in the my design section. And then from here, what you could do if you wanted to go ahead and publish it would be hit publish. Um, if your Etsy shop is already integrated, you just click on your store, hit confirm. And I'm not actually going to publish this, but I do want to show you guys how you can pick the colors. So here you can see all of the different designs. Um, so they say you can have up to, you know, 10 images, obviously, on your Etsy shop. Um, usually I want to keep the options to a minimal because too many options can overwhelm somebody. So I'm typically going to pick the colors that I think are going to do well. And so with this design, obviously, the white does well. Um, this blue does well. Um, I did the yellow, this orange. Yeah, you can kind of go in between this orangey color and this yellowy color, but either way, you know, those kind of tend to look good. And I think I did the darker blue. Um, and so those are the four colors that I did. And so I can pick the individual mugs. I do want to have at least one of each of the types of mock-ups. So for example, let's say I want to do this dark blue do the dark blue in the product size and then I want yellow one and maybe I do the yellow one um where it's well let's see it's kind of a little all over the place the yellow one with the wrap around right um and then maybe I want to do it in the hand and maybe for the in the hand I go with uh the darker blue or whatnot and so I just kind of get a good variety and make sure I get each of the mock-ups here's the one where it's just sitting on the shelf and I can do that with the white so I've picked several mock-ups that I want and then as I come down here this is where I'm going to pick my colors so right now it's got all of them I definitely definitely don't want all of them I'm going to get rid of select all and I'm just going to select the ones that I want which would be those four Oops, let's get rid of black. So now I've got white, yellow, medium blue, and dark blue. And so I've picked the colors that I want. Here's where I would go ahead and put, you know, whatever my retail price is. Oops, whatever my, you know, retail price is going to be. I've got the shipping up here too. So again, I would only do the standard shipping here. Well, actually, it's free. I guess you can do either one. But three to five days shipping, free shipping, put your price here, whatever you're going to sell it at. The white is a little bit cheaper than any of the other colors, but I'm just going to have them all at the same price. And then that's about it. And then you would go ahead and hit publish. So that's all there is to this, but this is a really cool option. Um, and again, I like that it's made in America. It's free shipping. And so I just, I saw this product opportunity and I was like, this is a good, this is a good choice. So if you want to sell mugs and you're looking for different providers so far, I think this is the best price that I've seen in terms of the mug plus the shipping. Um, I like the color choices here and with the AI patterns, it's easier than ever. So if you have questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. If you have video requests, I'll see if I can get you added to my list. Um, again, because you guys were so patient and you did wait until the end of the video, I do have another five bonus niches for you. Okay, so without any more waiting, these are your five bonus niches.
and I did go ahead and decide to do Christmas niches again. So number one, wanted for breaking and entering, and this could be like a mugshot of Santa. Number two, look at me being all festive and shit. Number three, pretend I'm a Christmas tree. Number four, dear Santa, my sister did it. And then number five, oh snap. And that could be like a gingerbread man snapping his leg um, or anything else that makes sense for that. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys are doing really well with your sales. I hope you guys are continuing to learn new skills, um, growing your portfolio. And I do hope to see you guys again. That's all for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.